Hey, it's such an incredibly valuable point that I want to drive home to listeners because a lot of the times in the age of self-quantification where we have accessibility to all of these devices, uh, we all try sometimes to put on the scientist hat, but we don't put it on fully. And the big problem with it is that we buy a product or we you know, engage and interact with the technology and we expect to see X, Y, and Z. Well, it says like this is going to enhance nervous system functioning or vagal output or vagal tone. And so therefore the expectation is, is that, okay, I measure my HRV or I measure my heart rate or I measure, you know, whatever skin conductance, whatever methodology for looking at the proxies for nervous systems, we do that. And then when we don't see change happen and immediately then people say it's bunk it's hoaxy it doesn't work and i think the biggest problem with that is that that's not putting on the full true scientist hat which is not looking at these just short-term acute changes which can occur but it's really the compounding effect and i think the biggest problem and the biggest thing a solution to this is not focusing on what are just solely the acute effects of what i'm using the acute effects of what i'm using, but what are the potential long-term trend effects that uh, we see through the use of that device? So whether it be heart rate, whether it be HRV, whether it be performance or recovery, like uh, allowing a much broader expectation for that and not confining ourselves to only seeing transient change, I think is extremely, extremely valuable. And this is something when I've consulted with many, many tech companies and many, many hardware and software companies on this who are using biometric input. And I say, the first thing I say is, is that you need to educate whoever your user is, that if they have some expectation of seeing data change right off the get go, they're going to be wildly disappointed by 99.9% .9 of everything they try. So I just thought I'd throw that in there as a right. disclaimer, because I don't want people to say, I heard Dr. J. Wiles talk about he used Halo and saw X, Y, and Z effects the first time he used it. Yeah, I did. That wasn't what I was, that wasn't what I thought was really cool. What I thought was really cool is seeing the compounding effects over time. And it's the reason why I still use this today is because there is a compounding effect. So sorry to cut you off there. I just figured I'd throw I love that. No, no, I love that. I love that. And, and I, and, you know, we love that. We love that, that feedback because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the, the efficacy of, of the product and the technology is is everything yeah. right and for us the sun rises and sets uh with the customer mm -hmm. and and ultimately that's your test ground is does your customers see the changes and understand them you know another thing too you know so and i also by my comment of operating in the knowing and not the feeling i don't want to discount the feeling um you know there are people who are super intuitive or really tuned into their bodies you know there's people who they know that, for example, they know that they're getting, you know, a, a cold mm -hmm. like two days before the symptoms really hit because they're so dialed mm -hmm. into their body. And there are other people that will have a sniffle for a week and be like, I don't know what this right, is. Right. right? And, and so but and I don't want to discount the feeling because that is a, you know, we just through, you know, science hasn't, you know, and technology hasn't developed to the point yet where we can understand that the feeling is actually an algorithm that, mm -hmm. that, you know, that we use, it's like intuition. There's an algorithm behind that. It's just very individualized. Um, yeah. but the feeling is important. So for example, when, when I use, when I, you know, I use the halo for a year, you know, before just through all of the, the testing phase before we did a uh, soft launch and, you know, I could, you know, I, even before I was, I was building, um, in my own biometrics, uh, you know, the, the, the output and what was happening, you know, I could feel, uh, the, the changes, right. I mean, I could feel, um, you know, if I was, if I had a really strenuous workout and I knew, you know, how, you know, when you have consistency in your schedule, you know, how your body feels, right? Like I'll do a particular workout and I'm like, oh boy, I'm going to be really sore tomorrow. You know, I, I may not be able to go, go out and do this again. And then you could see when you use modalities that have you on the court, when you, normally wouldn't be on the court yet right. or uh you know just so to me i just i wanted to mention that i don't want to discount feeling as if feelings are unimportant it's just that with wearables we have a great way for those of us who may not be like hyper intuitive to our bodies yeah. 
to have an understanding of what's happening. Yeah. The cool thing about wearable technology too, and one of the things at Hanu that we talk about a lot is that a lot of the times we need kind of these external triggers and reminders through data to give us a better um, or to increase interoception. So to increase our ability to check in and to dial in, because sometimes we don't know until we're told. And then when we're told enough times, then we start to begin to become conditioned. We pick up on it. And we say, okay, yep, I know what to expect now. So no, I totally agree with you there. Thanks for listening to the Hanu Health Podcast. We hope you enjoyed the show. This podcast would not happen without listeners and supporters like you. And the best way to support us and the show is to head on over to iTunes and provide us with a five-star review. This helps us reach others and spread the good word of breathing and stress resiliency. If we read your five-star review on air, please reach out to podcast at hanuhealth.com with your name and mailing address, and we will send you some sweet Hanu gear. Until next time, breathe better and stress less.